All right, it is time to talk about the markets with Jim Cramer on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. And Jim, let's begin with Allergan's earnings and Action Alerts Plus name. Yeah, I mean, put on note, they're saying, listen, it was a pretty good number. Now, I think that people have to recognize this is a, a, a very football name. In other words, people are always looking for something that's wrong at Allergan, not something that's right. I like the quarter. I think that they're going to be doing big numbers. I have Brent Saunders on for Mad Money tonight. But just understand that the reason why I can't get where you think it might go is there's just a lot of bears in the stock. There's a lot of people who are just looking for the thing to roll over, as there is for all big pharma. I mean, there's just a lot of sellers every time these stocks go hard. All right, what about Valiant Pharmaceuticals? Valiant is an example of a stock that's come down so much that there are no people who are sellers. It's almost like everybody who's left has just said, you know what, I'm willing to own it. And the, they have changed the maturity so that there's no cash flow problem. Uh, it, it looks like that Bausch & Lomb is stabilized. It looks like Salix is stabilized. Their dermatology business is stabilized. They still can sell Dendrion to continue to lower the debt. It, it's a, a company that I would say is not a good short. That's how I describe it. All right, Jim, you interviewed Apple CEO Tim Cook last yes. week, and then this week the market cap crosses $800 billion. Yeah, I mean, look, I think that this is a, a story about service, mm -hmm. service revenues. I think that people have dramatically underestimated how big the service revenue is going to be. They, they really denigrated the, uh, the value of the Apple App Store. Uh, they don't seem to understand that many, many people pay a service stream every single month. Uh, they also are beginning to realize that uh, Apple's music, if you look at Pandora, has become triumphant. There are a lot of people who thought they had to buy Pandora. Pandora lagging, got that influx, that influx of capital from KKR, which apparently they did need. So there's a lot of momentum building on uh, what is something that people didn't think would be building because it's been such an afterthought, which is what you pay Apple once you buy the Razor the razor blades. And you've been talking about services revenue before I anyone. I had to press them to talk about service revenue, <laughs> in, in part because I saw this as being some burgeoning, big gross margin business that is uh, taking advantage of the ecosystem. And there's 150 million people who conceivably would be part of this ecosystem who will be paying fees. And that's a kind of a, an annuity. We like cable companies, we like, uh, we, we, <clears throat> we like phone companies, as long as they can add and raise their bill. I think Apple, it's going to be like Netflix and Costco uh, and Amazon Prime. It's just a revenue stream is going to keep going up. And we should remind everyone that Apple is part of Action Alerts Plus. Absolutely, for the whole time. All right, and then in real money, you talk about Goldman's downgrade of Micron. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I, I talk about this in, in real money. Why? Because, and Bruce Kamich has a, a chart there too. I, I think that people have to recognize that you're supposed to get off of Micron while it's still doing well. In other words, this was not a call that said Micron's not doing well. It's a call which says the average length of time that it does well is coming upon us. And then it goes down as more money gets uh, put in for capital equipment to be able to build more DRAMs. It was a very thoughtful piece. And you have to, you have to understand that if you wait until supply is in, is in balance with demand, and that one extra chip, then prices just fall precipitously. So this guy who just had a very good call is trying to get out of ahead of that. And that's what you have to do if you're gonna play a boom bust name. All right, and then on Stop Trading on Squawk in the Street, you talked about Tesla. Yeah, I mean, Tony Saganegui, who does really quality work for Sanford Bernstein, is talking about the need for the gross margins for, for, the, uh, for the new S model to be really good, and maybe north of 25, in order to be able to justify the, the valuation of the stock. Now, a lot of other people are listening to, uh, uh, there was a guy at the Iverson conference talking about how uh, that the convertible's a good bet because the stock could go up, they do have a lot of capital. There's a lot of momentum to this very heavily shorted name that's not really looking at what Tony's looking at, which is this idea that it has to start generating cash flow. And as long as there isn't anyone looking at that serious, rigorous level, it'll keep going higher. Uh, because people are basing this on momentum. And the idea that it's a tech stock, you keep hearing, it's a tech stock, it's a tech stock, it's a tech stock. Um, and I think that what happens is that people say, well, if it is a tech stock, we can start using it like Amazon. But, I, but remember, Amazon had tremendous cash flow. This does not have tremendous cash flow, uh, but it doesn't seem to matter. People keep thinking it will have tremendous cash flow. So it's a situation that's on the come that people keep thinking it's going to break out if they do the 500,000 car run rate by next year. And if they do the million car run rate by 2020, then I think Tony is going to say, ah, I wish I'd recommend it. All right, we'll be watching that one, and then we'll end with earnings to watch. What are you expecting from Whole Foods? Whole Foods, I think it could actually be a decent quarter. Uh, I think that Whole Foods will say, listen, we're not for sale. Uh, and, and if that, therefore, the stock could go down, and then it will be, then the people who want it to be for sale will start uh, saber rattling again. 
All right, how about action alerts plus holding Simorex energy? Oh, Simorex, look, it boils up, it goes up, it boils down, it goes down. Doesn't matter what they say. Simple as that. Yep. <laughs> All right, and then Jim, you're hosting a trading strategies roundtable tomorrow. Yes, yeah, so and we're going to have some fixed income names. We'll have uh, gold. We'll be talking about uh, some uh, very interesting commodity situations and, uh, and stocks. Uh, all guys who are, the, the trading roundtable has been very, very well received. Mm. Lots of people on it. I urge people to check the site out. You're really going to like it. All right, we'll be watching that tomorrow live at 11 a.m. Jim, thank, thank you, you so much as always. And for more of the stocks Jim mentioned, please head back to thestreet.com.